First of all, you have to get Microsoft Edge, which is a web browser. They made it like a wave, like surfing the web. I'm going to skip the ad one. I'm just going to go down to download. I'm going to click on there. And I have a Mac OS, so I'm going to download for Mac OS. Whoops. I'm going to click on there. All right, I have an Intel chip, so I'm going to click on there. And uh, my license, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I accept that. All right, that's cool. Your download will begin shortly. Let's see if we're getting anything. I do believe that we're getting download unconfirmed. All right, so I'm in Google Chrome, by the way, which is a competitor to Microsoft. <laughs> so I had two choices, either Safari or Google Chrome. I'm, gonna, I'm trying Google Chrome because Safari wouldn't let me do it. And so this thing's loading. All right, so let's cross our fingers and see if we can actually download this browser onto our Mac. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out of here once it's loaded onto the desktop, and then I'm going to click on it. All right, so it's, it's, it's loaded, right? So let's pull it here. Okay, so here we are. Now let's click on it. I double-clicked on it. It brings it up. It says, Welcome to Microsoft Edge, a new browser built to bring you the best of the web designed to feel at home on a Mac. Let's find out. Okay, I'm cool with that. Got to put in my password. Understandable, because they don't, you know, computer doesn't want some things. Configuration. Installer would like to access. Okay, yeah. It's writing the files. It has to access this. That's where it's at. If you don't allow it to do that, it won't. You can't get it. Background items added. Microsoft update. Da da da. Running the script. Validating. Registering. Installation successful. Okay, excellent. All right, so let's close that. Um, let's close this. Whoops, something came up. I don't know what it was. Oh, there we are. Look, we're in. Bam, Bob is my uncle. Microsoft. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Microsoft Edge, tailored for your Mac OS experience, the best in class. Welcome to Microsoft Edge. Uh, experience the best in class reliability built with Microsoft's commitment for privacy. All right. Complete setup. Let's do it. Inspirational, informational, focused. All right, I think we're going to do focused. Let's confirm. Because that's what we're used to. All right, sync, sign in to sync data. Back up your browsing data and see your favorites, passwords, histories, and much more on all devices. Yeah, let's continue without doing that. All right, we're in. So now I need to go, let's get rid of this, 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 this. All right. So introducing the all new Bing, your AI powered co-pilot for the web. Microsoft Edge is the best browser to bring, 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 bring. Get the comprehensive answers and creative inspiration. Okay. I like that. All right. Browse faster with Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge has built-in features like Startup Boost and Sleeping Tabs, which make your browsing start up quicker and uh, boost your browsing performance. Uh, startup Boost, Sleeping Tabs, Efficiency. Let's take a look and see what they are. All right, so Startup Boost begins with Microsoft Edge, blah, blah, blah. So you get this weird-looking thing. Let's go back. What's the Sleeping Tabs? Oh, you put it, it puts it in dark mode. Okay, I get that. Back. And then Efficiency Mode. Oh, that, we're going to... What is efficiency mode? All right. I guess it makes it more efficient. Let's go back. All right, so that's cool. I think we got that. Let's go to the next thing. Shop and save. Start shopping. So now we can shop. Microsoft Edge. Look at all this stuff on here. Import your browser data from Safari. Learn how. Oh, we can do that. Let's go like that. Import browser data from SAR. Step one, Microsoft Edge, full disk, access, open system preferences. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna skip that for now. Let's just keep on doing what we're doing here. All right, so what I want to do is I want to get chat GPT. Let's see what see if it if it loads us up. All right, so here it is. Look at this, all this stuff here. What's going on? Um I don't want to buy anything. I want to uh, I want to be able to use it on this 
Microsoft Bing. Oh, Microsoft Bing. Let's see what we got here. Oh, here it is. Look, I think I, I think it's automatic. Check it out. Chat mode is only available when you have access to the new Bing. I need to throw a dinner party. No, 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 no. Right. Join the wait list. Introducing the new Bing, your AI-powered answering machine. Join the wait list. I, I want to get in now. All right. Sign into Microsoft Edge. Get signed in everywhere. Sync, sign in to sync data. Automatically sign in to this site and other Microsoft sites when you sign into Microsoft Edge. Yeah, no thanks. All right, Microsoft, sign in. To continue to Bing for personalized search experience, you can save your time and money. Just sign in to Bing. All right, so I got to put an email in there. All right, so I'm going to use that, all right? No account, so i got to create one. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Create One. How does that sound? All right, create an account. For a personalized search experience, you can save you time and money. Just create a Microsoft account. All right, I guess i got to do that. I thought I was doing it before, but I'm, I wasn't, so I'm just going to put it on here. All right. Use a phone number instead. I could do that. Get a new me email address. Yeah, let's just do. Let's just use my that email. All right, create a password. All right, well, let's create a password. All right, I gotta write that down because <laughs> I'll never remember it. Oh my God, I'm so crazy. I usually let the computer do it. Okay, I just wrote that down so I don't forget it. Um, let's just double check it. I'll have to blur this. And I'm just going to go next. All right, create an, All right, Microsoft, create account. If a child uses this device, select, the, select their birth date to create a child account. No, I don't want to do that. This information is required. What? No, I don't want to set. I don't want to do a child account. I don't get it. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put my birthday in there. I guess I guess I'll have to. No, not 1905. I just put that in there. All right. Verify the email. All right, so I got to do that. Just like forever. Oh, that's very fast. All right. That's pretty easy. Next. All right, here we go. Create an account, create an account. And a, please solve the puzzle so we know you're not a robot. Please solve the puzzle so that we know that you're not a robot. Okay. Next. All right, pick one square that shows two identical objects. Pick one square that shows two identical objects. Pick one square that shows two identical objects. Verification. What the fuck? That was ridiculous. All right, stay signed in. Yes. Don't show the sign again, and yes. All right, it's loading. Cha-ching! Chat mode is only available when you have access to the new Bing. All right. Access to new Bing faster. Access, all right, access the new Bing even faster. Get ahead of the line. Complete the following. Microsoft defaults. Uh, scan QR code. Microsoft Bing. To install Microsoft Bing app. Is there, why, am I on a wait list? Sign in. All right, what? I'm not on a PC. Let's see, what's this? Let's see what happens here. This is ridiculous. All right. Your best answers of the new bang. Download from the App Store. Microsoft Bing search. App is available only on the App Store for iPhone and iPad. All right, whatever. Let's get out of there. Great, you're on the wait list. Okay, whatever.
I, I don't I don't get why we can't you know this is the problem that I hate about about Microsoft is that you can't fucking figure anything out you know it's 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 ridiculous I don't want to shop that's the thing so let's go ahead let's close this close this let's close this requiring data notice okay updates update okay we got that all right so let's let's see if we can find it in our preferences all right so let's go here let's see if we can see anything in here oh there it is okay so now we want to just get bang with the AI so let's just put bang in here AI bam it comes right up and there it is and um, let's see if we can just click on this and if it gives it to us all right introducing the new bang access the new bang faster yeah let's do that oh it wants me to do this access to the new bing is even faster get ahead of the line when you complete the following well i don't have a pc and this app is only good on my iphone or on um, an ipad unfortunately all right get your you know blah 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 let's go to the app store see what they say and there it is the app is available only on app on the App Store for iPhone and iPad. Okay, well, let's click on it and see if we can get it. No, nothing's happening. All right, so there's the problem with Bing. So I think, you know, I signed up for the <laughs> the uh, um, wait list, but apparently I'm not getting on there, am I? Let's click this. Let's click that. And... Um, Let's see if Bing, oh, wait a minute, Microsoft Bing, we're in. Oh, okay, Microsoft Bing, all right, well, it's asking me, am I planning a trip on an anniversary in September? What are some of the places, well, let's see what it, what it would look like if we did it. Let's just hit try. Whoops, oh, okay, I'll do this one. Well, it's different. All right, so I found some arts and crafts on a toddler using only blah, 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 blah. So this is how it, I guess it's going to work. And then it just fills this all in. And then over on the side, you get like some other types of, uh, you know, regular search stuff. And then this is the chat box here. And then you're already on a wait list. So I'm on the wait list. And I guess we just have to wait and see what happens. <laughs> all right. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos where I show you how Microsoft is a pain in the butt. Peace out.